And some of you right now, you think you're saved because you felt bad over a habit. You felt bad about the consequences, and you need to know this truth. Please do not miss this truth. And the truth is this. We don't need to deal with our sins until we deal with our sin. All we've done is we've picked out one or two bad things in our life, and we've felt conviction, we've felt repentance, we've looked to God. Oh, God, fix these one or two bad things in our life. And yet, that does not save us. You see, you don't have just one or two problems in your life. You don't have one or two bad things in your life. The Bible says that you need to deal with your sin with a capital S. You're saying, what do you mean by that? Isaiah 64, 6 says this. We are all infected and impure with sin with a capital S. We, when we display our righteous deeds, they are nothing but filthy rags. I do want you to deal with your specific sin. But don't get it backwards. Don't get ahead of God. You see, you need to deal with your sin with a capital S before you try to deal with your lying, before you try to deal with your fear, before you try to deal with your lust. You need to deal with your sin before you deal with your sin. Most of us are what I call tree trimmers. You'll come to church and you'll feel guilty about lying. You'll come to church and you'll feel guilty about being stingy and not giving your money to God. You'll come to church and you'll feel bad about not, not being a good wife or being a good husband or being a good brother or being a good sister. You'll come to church and you'll feel bad about a specific sin with a little S. And all you'll do is you will cut off that limb. But unless you kill the tree, unless you get to the heart of the problem, unless you deal with the root, you're going to hell. 